back to the problems, uh, fundamental problems of chapter 14. We're on to 14.5. I will be doing 14.3 later on. Um, but yeah, let's get started with 14.5. Uh, there's a pretty good one. Uh, when S equals 0.6, the spring is unstretched, and a 10 kilogram block has a speed of 5 meters per second down the smooth plane. Determine the distance S when the block stops. So, some key words here is that, you know, it's moving already, so it has an initial kinetic energy. So, T1 is one half the mass. What's the mass here? Uh, 10 kilograms times the initial velocity squared. I remember, kinetic energy is always going to be positive because you're always going to be squaring that velocity term. And it's a smooth plane, so if we think, okay, work done by a non-conservative force, right, that's going to be zero. What else do we have? All right, we also have um, work done by a conservative force, F, which is the force times the distance times the angle times cosine theta. That, so theta being the angle between the displacement uh, vector and the force vector. In this case, you know the block is moving to the right, um, or I guess downhill, and the force is also moving downhill. They're parallel to each other. So in this case, we are going to have cosine theta equal to 1 because the angle between them is 0. So in this case we have 100 times um, and the total, so I, what I did was total displacement so that means S2 minus S1 okay with S1 being uh, I have it somewhat, they tell us somewhat with S1 being 0.6 okay so I have 100. We're looking for S2, sort of. We're looking for total S, which is going to be S1.6 plus, um, plus S2, which we're going to find out. Uh, so this is 0. 0.6. Okay. So force times distance. All right. Uh, what else do we have? We have a spring. So we have one by a spring. Work done by a spring is given to us by this equation. K, which is 200. S2 squared minus 200. S1 squared, 0.6. So even at rest, because S1 is not 0, it's 0 0.6, even at rest, uh, there's work being done on the on the object already. Okay, uh, let's clean this up a bit. This will be minus 100. So that first term, s2 squared plus oops, so that's 0 0.6 times 100. plus 36. Okay, so that's the work done by the spring. Alright, I think we're done. Nope, we're not done. Gravity is doing uh, some work here as well. So, U12 by gravity, right, minus the weight times a change in delta Y. Okay, this will be minus 10 times 9.81, so that's the weight, times, in this case I have, um, you know, let's, let's just write it down here so I don't confuse everyone, so, let's see, how can I, do this nicely. Let's 
so this is so S1, okay, and S1. So let's look at this triangle initially. Okay, so this is gonna be we're looking at this height, um, S1. Okay, well actually, let's let's reverse that. Let's. Oh, I can't even draw a triangle. Jeez. Okay. Um, so initially it's at S1, and we know that um, the sine, so the sine 30, will correspond to the height. So it will be S1 over here. And then, um, let's see. And then the next thing is, when the object is, let's say, over here and that's when the determine the distance s when the block stops okay so let's say it's down here then this will be s2 sine 30 okay so what i did was You know this this one we write it down. It's going to be y two minus y one. Okay. Well, it's going to be minus ten times nine point eight one. Y two is going to be s two sine thirty. I'm not going to write the sine thirty because s one also has a sine thirty. So I just pull it out. Just factor it out of the equation to simplify it a little bit. And that's the way I have it. Okay. And then let's go back up here and then say T2 is the final kinetic energy and it is determine the distance S when the block stops. So T when the block stops, there's no kinetic energy. It's not, it's not moving anymore. Okay. So at this point we're pretty much done with all the the work that's being done by the conservative forces and the non-conservative forces okay so we have this term we have this term this term here um, and this term so we have four okay so let's see that's five times 25 that's 125 so t1 is 125 Okay, let's add up all our conservative, non-conservative work, or uh, work done by non-conservative and conservative forces. That'll be plus 100 S2 minus 0 0.6. Then we have minus 100 S2 squared plus... 36 and then minus 98.1 s2 minus s1 is 0.6 sine I don't know it's so laggy right now okay all right so that's the left hand left hand side of the work energy relationship we're going to do principle So this one, that's that term. This whole thing is this term over here. And all that is equal to T2, which is 0. OK. Cleaning this up a bit, right? we're going to get 100. S2 minus 60 minus 100 S2 squared plus 
36 minus Forty nine point zero five S two and then plus minus minus twenty nine point four three equals zero. Okay. So at this point it's just you know algebra. We're gonna have to solve for S two. So there's gonna be a quadratic equation. That's going to look something like this. 100, when you simplify it, 198.1s2, and that is minus 42.14. OK. Um, yeah, so solve for s2, OK? So using quadratic formula or just you know this online quadratic formula calculators, right? You end up getting or what I got was uh, two point like one seven. Two point one seven meters. Okay. And now they want the total, so determine the distance S when the block stops. So S is equal to S1 plus S2. The way and the, the reason I did it this way, solving for the quadratic formula and stuff, because I can see that that's how most people will try to tackle the problem. Uh, the book takes the shortcut of just using S prime. I, I was looking in the back and they use S prime to solve it and um, you know, you get the same results, except you don't have to use the quadratic formula. So that's the benefit of that one. Um, but yeah, so that'll be the total distance S until the block stops. All right, and that's it. So remember, you can either jump straight to this one equation and just begin listing all your terms, or compartmentalize all of them individually T1, what's T2, what's uh, the work done by friction, what's the work done by the forces that are acting on it, the springs, the actual force, the gravity and so on. Okay, Once you're done with that then you put them into the work energy uh, principle. Alright, all right. well hopefully you guys are able to have a better grasp at this point um, we'll finalize it with F14.6, and then we'll move on to the other problems. Thanks so much for your time and attention, guys. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave comments down below. I always try to get back to you guys. So, see you guys in the next video.